The genuine Christian life is the life of an overcomer, reigning in life as kings. The genuine Christian life is the life of an overcomer, and we as the overcomers in the New Testament should be kings who have received the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness to reign in life. Amen, Hallelujah. This week we come to the last crystal in the books of 1 and 2 Kings, living an overcoming life by reigning in life to become the new Jerusalem as the city of life. If we read these two books and try to find out what are the major points or the crystals, we may not have much success, we need to put on the glasses of God's economy to see what the Lord sees and be one with Him to pick the major points in these two books. It is the Lord's mercy that we can look at such seemingly negative books, the records of the many failures of the kings of Israel and of Judah, receive the holy warnings, learn the spiritual lessons, and be filled with hope for our Christian life. In particular this week we want to see the matter of living an overcoming life by reigning in life so that we may become the new Jerusalem as the city of life. As we remain in the Word of God and under the Lord speaking in a living way, we are purified and cleansed, and our hearts are filled with hope and joy, for the Lord is doing in us what He wants to do. There is a clear need among us to tear down any high places, anything that rises up above Christ, anything that is elevated and becomes something that distinguishes us from others besides Christ. May we return to the divine revelation in God's Word and give the Lord the preeminence in all things. When we speak, may we speak Christ and not preach ourselves. He must have preeminence in all things. When we give the Lord the first place in all things, He rules and reigns in us, and we rule and reign in life through the One, Jesus Christ. The fact that the life of the kings is being recorded in the books of 1 and 2 Kings shows that we, as believers in Christ, need to be kings with Christ and with God, those ruling and reigning in life. And this life in which we rule and reign is not the human life, bios, or the psychological life, sush, but the divine life, zoe, the uncreated life of God. We are called, chosen, and set to be kings and priests, those who rule and reign with Christ and who serve God and man with the riches of Christ. And our destiny is to become the new Jerusalem, the city of life, we will fully be swallowed up in life, we will eat the tree of life and drink the water of life, and we will be the city of life for eternity. Hallelujah! The genuine Christian life is the life of an overcomer, we are kings, priests, and prophets in God's economy. As believers in Christ, we are to live the life of an overcomer, the genuine Christian life is the life of an overcomer. All the overcomers in the New Testament should be kings who have received the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness, Romans 5 17. It is impossible for us as human beings to live the Christian life, it is impossible for us to be an overcomer in and by ourselves. The only one who can live the Christian life is Christ who is the sevenfold intensified spirit in our spirit. The only one who can be an overcomer and live the life of an overcomer is Christ as the life-giving spirit with our spirit. We need to touch Him, experience Him, enjoy Him, and allow Him to flow in us and out of us in this way. We want to live Him out and let Him live in us. When we do this, the genuine Christian life becomes the life of an overcomer. How can we be an overcomer? It is by receiving the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness so that we may reign in life through Christ, the one who is the overcomer in our spirit. First, we receive the abundance of grace, and then the abundance of the gift of righteousness. The abundance of grace has to do with our organic salvation and the gift of righteousness has to do with our redemption. In our natural thinking, we would think that first comes righteousness and then grace. But in God's eyes, grace is first and then righteousness. It is similar to having the bread at the Lord's table meeting, and then having the cup. In our natural thought, we think that the cup comes first, for redemption is our need. But in God's purpose, according to His original intention, He wants man to enjoy God and partake of His riches to be His corporate expression, and redemption is after that. Redemption is symbolized by the cup. Redemption was not the original and ultimate purpose of God, but it was given by God to recover us to God's original purpose. As believers in Christ, we are ordained by God to be prophets and priests, and we are also kings to allow God to rule in us and through us over all His enemies. Amen. The genuine Christian life is the life of an overcomer. The New Testament believers should fulfill the typology of the kings, priests, and prophets in God's economy. God ordained us to be prophets, those who speak for God, and priests, those who contact God and minister God to others. In the New Testament, all the believers are saved to be kings and priests, 1 Pet. 2-5, 9, Revelation 1-6, 20-6, 22-3-5, 1 Corinthians 14-12, 24 to 25, 31. When we as priests to God speak for God, we become God's spokesman, God's mouthpiece, these are the prophets. We are a holy priesthood, we are a royal priesthood, a priesthood that reigns in life. God made us a kingdom, priests to His God and Father. May we be those who pursue Christ toward the goal for the prize to which God in Christ Jesus has called us upward. In the Old Testament and the people of Israel, 
the kings were those who enjoyed the top portion of the good land, they enjoyed the good land on the top level. This is what God wants us to be today, He wants us to enjoy the all-inclusive Christ on the top level so that we may rule and reign with Him and for Him. The kings of Israel in the Old Testament are types of the New Testament believers, for the believers are saved by God to be kings and priests. The priests were entrusted not only with the speaking part of God's deputy authority but also the ruling part, the priests were speakers and also kings. But they did not replace God as the king. God wants to express His authority through the believers in Christ as the kings and He wants to be manifested and spoken forth through the believers as the priests. Amen. This shows that the genuine Christian life is the life of an overcomer, we need to overcome so that we may express God and represent Him with His authority. Prophesying, speaking Christ into people, makes us overcomers, prophesying is the function of the overcomers, 1 Corinthians 14 4, 1 Pet. 4 10-11, Acts 5 20. If we want to be an overcomer, we need to aspire to prophesy. We may not be naturally inclined to speak to people but be rather shy in our natural man, but we aspire to be overcomers, and we allow the Lord to break our natural man so that we may speak Christ to others. The Lord came into us, after passing through the process of incarnation, human living, crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension, to live the life of an overcomer in us. May we be those who live a genuine Christian life, that is, live the life of an overcomer in the church life, being the priests, kings, and prophets for the Lord in the church life today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for regenerating us and making us a kingdom, priest to our God and Father. Praise the Lord, we believers in Christ are priests to God, kings with Christ, and prophets to speak forth Christ. We open to you, dear Lord, and we receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness so that we may reign in life through Christ, the one who reigns in us. Rule in us, Lord, and reign in our being. Fill us with yourself and flow out through us. Make us those who live the genuine Christian life. Make us your overcomers in this age. Make us kings, priests, and prophets to God in reality in the church life today. We want to be those who speak for God, express God, represent God, and rule and reign for God and with God on earth today. Grant us to have the life of an overcomer by reigning in life through Christ. Enjoy Christ to the kingship level, receive the abundance of grace until grace reigns in us and we reign in life. God's purpose and desire for us as believers in Christ, the genuine Christians, is to live the life of an overcomer. However, if we have not reached the level of a king in our Christian life, we are still below the proper standard. We may say we enjoy Christ, but to what degree do we enjoy Christ? To what extent do we enjoy the Lord, are we reigning in life through Christ? Our enjoyment of Christ may only be one inch high, however, Christ is unlimited, and our enjoyment of Christ needs to come up to the kingship level. We should not compare our enjoyment and experience of Christ to others, rather, we should not be contented with where we are and always aspire to enjoy Christ more until we live the life of an overcomer. Our enjoyment of Christ needs to increase and reach higher until we reach the kingship level. We need to receive grace upon grace to such an extent that grace reigns in us so that we can be good stewards of the very grace of God, Phil. 313, John 1 16, Romans 5 21, 1 Pet. 4 10, Ephesians 3 2. Grace is God in Christ as the Spirit for our enjoyment. If we enjoy God, we are filled with pleasure and delight, that is grace. Grace is God in Christ as the Spirit for our enjoyment. This grace is multiplied to us through sufferings, limitations, and weaknesses. Grace is Christ Himself as our burden bearer. The more burdens we have, the more opportunities we have for us to experience Christ as grace. This stewardship of the grace of God was given to us for others. We enjoy Christ so that we may gain a portion of Christ to also minister to others. May we advance in our enjoyment of Christ until we are co-kings with Christ, reigning and ruling with Him in life. May we daily receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness until we reign in life through Christ and with Christ. First of all, we need to spend time with the Lord personally to allow Him to infuse us with Himself as grace. We need to enjoy Him personally, affectionately, privately, and spiritually. In our time with the Lord personally, we are infused with God until we glow with God, we shine with God. When we send our roots deep down into Christ as the rich soil in our time with Him to receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness, we will grow in Him and bear fruit upwards. May we start in the morning by having time with the Lord to consecrate our spirit to contact Him, our soul to enjoy Him, and our body to glorify and magnify Him. May we consecrate all our circumstances so that, even in our limited and limiting situations, we can enjoy Him to the uttermost as the grace of the Triune God. May we consecrate our family to Him and may we consecrate everything we have to Him. As we give ourselves to Him and take Him as our burnt offering, our absoluteness for God, He becomes our peace offering, and we begin to fellowship with Him. Amen. God's complete salvation is not only to save us from sins and eternal perdition. 
God's complete salvation is for us to be saved in the life of Christ to reign in this life by the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness, Romans 5 10, 17, 21. Hallelujah, God's complete salvation is a much more salvation. Galatians 5 9 says, Having been justified in His blood, much more we will be saved through Him from the wrath. Romans 5 10 says, If we, being enemies, were reconciled to God through the death of His Son, much more we shall be saved in His life. Verse 15 says that much more the grace of God and the free gift in grace will abound and have abounded for many. Verse 17 furthermore says that much more, as we receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness, we will reign in life through Christ. Our Christian life is a much more life, this is the genuine Christian life, the life of an overcomer, in which we reign in life. All the overcomers of the New Testament are kings who have received the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness to reign in life. May we continue to enjoy God's complete salvation day by day, little by little, until we reign in life. Lord Jesus, may our enjoyment and experience of Christ advance and go higher until we reach the level of reigning in life in our Christian life. Amen, Lord, increase our enjoyment of Christ in our daily life. Save us from having a small or reduced enjoyment of Christ, may our enjoyment of Christ come up to the kingship level. We open to you to receive grace upon grace to such an extent that grace reigns in us so that we can be good stewards of the varied grace of God. Amen, Lord, may grace reign in us so that we may reign in life. Hallelujah for God's complete salvation which is for us to be saved in the life of Christ to reign in life by the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness. Amen, Lord, may we daily enjoy God Himself as our all-sufficient supply for our organic salvation.